But I must warn that there is a difference, like I said earlier, between persecution and prosecution. Let me read 1 Peter chapter 4, verse 14 to 16. It says, if you are reproached for the name of Christ, blessed are you. For the spirit of glory and of God rests upon you. On their part, he is blasphemed. But on your part, he is glorified. So while they think that they are blaspheming Christ by doing what they are doing, he is glorified because of your own attitude. But let none of you suffer as a murderer, a thief, an evildoer, or as a busybody in other people's matters. Yet, if anyone suffers as a Christian, let him not be ashamed, but let him glorify God in this matter. What is he saying there? If what you are suffering is as a murderer, as a thief, as an evildoer, or as even a busybody on that person's matters, you are being prosecuted. You are not being persecuted. You are living contrary to God. That's why you are prosecuted. You are living contrary to the precepts of God. You are living in rebellion against God. That is why you are being prosecuted. If perhaps it might get you to reason and return to God. But instead, what do we do? We start arguing. We start vomiting. We start fermenting. We start getting enraged. Because we don't want anybody to touch us. We start quoting who we are. Don't you know who I am? I'm a pastor. I'm a Jew. I'm this. I'm that. I'm a bishop. That's all we start doing. We start making noise. Why? Because we don't want, we, because we don't want to be prosecuted. Persecution is standard protocol for a Christian. Prosecution is not. So the difference between prosecution and persecution is that you are being prosecuted when you are living contrary to the word of God. And of course also to the, to the law of men. But when you are living in obedience to God, even when that obedience is contrary to the laws of men, it is not a persecution. They may call it persecution, but it is a persecution. It is a persecution because you are living in obedience to God. And because you are living in obedience to God, Satan is using his tools to fight against you so that you would, you would, you would say no to God. That's all it is. And by the grace of God, we will not say no 